Hey y'all, uh, little trigger warning. Um, I am gonna be talking about rape and rape culture, so just a heads up. It started out with my mama. She told me at six years old that people would take things without my permission all my life. At the time, I thought she meant my coloring pages. When I was eight, she worked for Sakasa, and every weekend she would see six women who were sexually assaulted each day. She was one of three on call for one hospital. That's 18 women reporting rape between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. on a Sunday at TMC. At 10, I got catcalled, and all I could do was hide behind my mom. My period hadn't started yet, but I seemed like fair game to 30-year-olds walking by. And by the time I was 12, I received a dick pic from a boy in class, and I became a whore when I didn't say thank you. 14 came by, and I was dealing with my own trauma. Please don't hug me from behind. Try to understand why I'm 16 now. 17, actually. And somehow I'm supposed to be happy being called jail bait. But what would really make me happy is if you could understand the word stop and no. We live in a world where I can scream no, but my short skirt determines my consent. Do you have any idea how it feels to be shamed for an event, but told to be grateful because it meant you were pretty? Because pretty is everything, right? Because pretty means consent, just like an enthusiastic yes. When was the last time you did something you felt uncomfortable doing? I bet it was recently. Consent to many is like an added bonus, but some people only get it when their target is drunk. I bet you didn't know, but I can't say yes if I'm asleep. I wonder what it's like to feel safe from rape, but cat calls are a constant reminder that I am an object for your pleasure. And rape is a joke for bros playing in the halls, but those bros aren't excluded from rape either. Did you forget what rape culture was? I hope you remember now.